So um, yeah, it's quite it's a quite um, a, it's close to my heart charity. So uh, my more so my family. Like I'm not going to take the credit, but my my aunties and my mom, um, they every year would put on a memorial ball um, in Wolverhampton, where I'm originally from, um, and all ticket funds would go to charity. And each year, um, it was such a success, but obviously such a shame because of COVID. We sadly couldn't couldn't raise any money for them so I just thought um initially like my when I was first planning the exhibition I thought gosh like I could do with a bit of money in, in my back pocket but I thought it, it would be kind of nice to um give the check because I think through COVID a lot of charities suffered as well not having the donations and I mean I didn't raise as much as I wanted to compared to like what the ball used to raise, but I def- it's definitely like any- every little helps, isn't it? Yeah. So at the time living at my boyfriend's house and I was like, oh God, I'd love to like get a piece of artwork for that wall. And I think a lot of people feel guilty of it during and you're staring at the same four walls and you just want to change everything. And it's like a lot of DIY stuff was happening. And I started off with the fluid stuff because I thought that like, you know, I thought for like interior artwork, um, I think, you know the abstract stuff sells and I kind of just started it off making stuff for my own bedroom like in my, my own boyfriend's bedroom um and then I started posting them on my page and then a lot of people were like are you selling these and I was like I mean yeah but like I was only charging them what the canvas cost at the start so I was just like almost it felt bad asking for money off like friends and family it felt wrong um well obviously with as time progressed and the style changed and I went to more rather than the fluid abstract I went to more like just complete abstract with painting and and with acrylic paint and yeah so I have always been so passionate with my art like even in school it was my favorite subject and I remember when applying to uni I was either going to do criminology or art and I there was something telling me in my head no go the academic route there's more jobs lined up at the end of it and then I don't know there's there's a little birdie on my shoulder and was like no you know you want to get up and do something you love every day um so yeah I went to uni in Liverpool and I studied fine art and to be honest I'm not going to say it was the most easiest thing it was hard and very I wasn't used to the conceptual vibe of what they wanted from you oh it's it's again weird weird you say that because with like the whole exhibition and fundraising thing um for my auntie who who passed away sadly um about five years ago she I, I will like my most vivid memory is like in the summertime she wouldn't work so she would like look after me and my sister and I used to be obsessed with going around because she would always um get this arts and crafts box out and it was she always kept it in a garage and then every time I would come around she'd get it out and secretly she used to get it out because she wanted to paint as well um so we'd always be like coloring in and and painting and like a hundred percent that is where I got my like artistic flair from I think because yeah mom and dad are always saying yeah it's not from us it's definitely from your auntie so it's quite nice how I could like do a fundraiser in honor of her and I definitely got my sense of creativity from her as well it, even the way she would dress um everything she was just so unusual in the way she would like piece things together and I definitely take a lot of like inspiration from from that like definitely 